All right, this is my vlogging test. Check, check, check. Oh my, is it looking? Oi. No, this is good for vlogging. It's very small and lightweight. Let me see. I think it's focusing on me. There is no flip out screen, so it's gonna be hard for you to like monitor yourself. If you're someone that wants to do some vlogging and film yourself, you're gonna need like, like an external monitor to put on the top of the shoe mount. We are shooting at ISO 6400. Whoa. Okay. ISO 6400 guys. We're gonna go to the marina and we're just going to snap a few photos in the dark and see how well it does in low light. This is as low light as it comes. Let me check. I'm not like the greatest of vloggers. So I have the X-T4 with the Viltrops 13 millimeter F1.4 and then we're just going to go for a little stroll here. How does this footage look in low light? And is it auto-focusing me? Because right now I um, not, don't know what settings I got. I'm just, I just press play. Hopefully it's tracking my face and my eyes in the dark, but it's not. What do you expect? It's low light. They can only do so much. How's it doing in low light? I think this is at ISO 2000. Whether you're on 6.2K or 4K HQ, there's gonna be a 1.2 times crop. So just keep that in mind. Pretty sure they're doing this. So not to cannibalize, 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 cannibal, cannibal, cannibalize. I'm pretty sure they're doing this to not cannibalize their XH2 system. How's it looking? Do it look good? And I go to the marina and then just film in the dark. Wow, so dead. Holy shit, it's so dead. Damn. In the summer, this place was packed. Now it's so dead. You can still see the glow up there, which is pretty cool. How's the footage looking? This is at ISO 1000. See any noise? I see a bunch of yachts here. This is at 3200. We're gonna kick it up to 64, 6400. The way the sensor works is that their noise just looks similar to grain. So it's not as like ugly as other cameras, such as the Sony's, the, the Sony that I have at home. Those, those, those digital artifact noise things does not look good at all. And I guess with a little bit of noise reduction, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna look that bad. It's, it's still gonna look good. And then here we are at 12,800. How does it look for you guys? Let me know in the comments. Usually if I ever go this high, I'm, I'm probably going to use a noise reduction type of plugin. Even if there are noise in your shots and your footage, there are ways to clean it up. You, you, you can still like salvage a footage or a shot. How does this footage look? Does it look good? It's very quiet which is very freaky because I never seen this quiet before. I guess this this area is a tourist area, but it's cool. I like quiet. All the shops are closed down. There's like not many people walking here. Sucks for the business though. And I took some low light shots that I'm gonna share with you guys. All right, now we're back in the studio and now I open up the RAWs into Lightroom and then we're just gonna go pixel peep and you know, just check out the photos uh, itself. And you guys can see for yourself if they're unpleasant noise in, in the X-T5 RAWs and you can make that decision for yourself, okay? But before we begin, I just wanna, I just wanna show you guys something. The shot right here. Um, this was shot at <clears throat> ISO 6400. At uh, I was shooting with my Viltrox 13 millimeter f1.4. It's at one over 1250th of a second. You can see the image is blown out, right? Look at all that clipped highlights. But look at the Fuji Film's raw power. Look at its dynamic range, and just look at that highlight recovery. Uh, look at all the information that we got back into in this photo. This is what it looked like before. And then boom, look at that. That's crazy. You get to see all the details right here. The, the plush dolls right here. You get to see the sign that says that they're watching you on security camera. There's a uh, fire alarm right here. And this button right here is probably for like a self-destruct button. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, look at all, look at the details on this. And this is at 200% guys. And I think I was aiming for the, the two gentlemen right here. I think they're in focus, but yeah, look at that. All that highlight recovered. And I don't remember the Fujifilm X-S10 or the X-T3, X-T4. I don't remember them having good highlight recovery like this. So I'm pretty impressed with this uh, RAW or with this dynamic range that Fuji has given us. Uh, the X-Trans Sensor 5 it seems to be an improvement. Um, so. 
it's not just always the image quality, it's also like the dynamic range and all that stuff. Uh, with the X-T3, there was good shadow recovery, but not good highlight recovery. Highlight recovery, I've only seen in like Sony cameras. I think Sony does it really well. And I think this highlight recovery is better than my Sony a7 IV. So don't quote me on that, but I, it just feels like it, just looking at it. We're gonna continue on and just look at, and we're gonna look in the corners and to my eyes, uh, the noise here just looks like film grain to me. Like it doesn't look bad. The Sony has like bad grain noise pattern coming in, uh, shooting this high. But here it looks pleasant. Uh, let me know what you think. I've shoot with a lot of low lights before. I shot with low lights with the X-T2, the X-T3, X-T4. Noise isn't an, a concern for me. And um, I'm very comfortable at shooting anything at 6400 and below that. Anything higher, I don't know, maybe in a pinch. The noise here looks fine to me. I have no problem whatsoever. Uh, you still see a lot of details. What you can do is to like spice it up too, if you like. You gotta see the final product. Like I would do something like this. Uh, do that, boom. Maybe something like that. Crush the blacks a little bit. Vibrance. I don't know, give it like a cyberpunk edge right here. And I would I would just make it something like this and then it hides more the more of the noise. You can't really see much. But yeah, so this shot is at 12,800. Again, look at the details. It's at 100 percent And if we zoom in on 200 percent you can see the noise. You can see the grain patterns coming in. And what I'm gonna do is pull back the highlights and just look at all that detail we saved right there. Boom. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool trick. And we go, we go into the corners. Yeah, there's a lot of noise coming in at 12,800. I probably would use this in a pickle. It's still usable. Like if you were to put this, if you weren't trying to blow this up or anything, or just use it for social media or just for like on the internet, uh, you can get away with it. Like this is nothing. I find it usable at least. Up here we got a bunch of these like white spots you can see all over the place. I don't know if the YouTube compression is doing anything to um, my uh, screen recording but there's a bunch of white dots everywhere and I was told from someone in the Fujifilm Facebook group is that high megapixel sensors are are prone to this. So if you guys are brand new to high megapixel sensors, don't be uh, don't be alarmed because this is normal. Uh, if anyone can explain to me why this is normal or you know explain what this is, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know. Uh, yeah, just let me know because I'm not technically savvy or like very nerdy and get geeky like Gerald Undone when it comes to this kind of shit. So let me know if you were to edit this, like add your own flair to it, you can hide some of that noise away too. Add in a little bit of noise reduction. Let's do something like this. Yeah, that crush, crush blacks, always a thing to do. Okay, noise reduction, let's see, 20. I think 20 is good. Yeah, you can see the noise. The noise cleans up a little bit. And I would say like, I would say uh, it's usable. This is up to you guys and how tolerant you are, are with noise in your shots. I am fine with noise. I, it's just up to you guys. For me, like, I think 12,800 is passable for like certain, like for like those certain tricky shots that you need. Uh, what do you guys think? We got ISO 5000 right here. And let's go to 100%. And I can tell right away that this looks a lot cleaner than the last shot at 12,800. You can see more detail, it's not breaking up. Like the, the ISO 12,800, the image kind of looked mushy a little bit, but here, all the details are a lot better, more preserved, um, but yeah. The noise is not a problem for me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna answer some more of your questions in a future video. I just wanted to get this video out here for you guys as soon as possible. I thought it would be a lot worse than what it is. So only I have the X-T5 for like three days. I don't think I can get a model to come shoot with me on such short notice, but um, 
we're gonna try to uh, you know answer as much questions for you guys as as we can so if you want to see that video don't forget to uh, subscribe subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and yeah we'll see you in the next one I love you bye